Okay, this is the generator area. As far as the plug-in, and the plug-in's back here. Sometimes when we get done camping, we'll throw the cord in here and it'll be sitting here on the, on the floor. And we turn our generator on, we don't have any power. Well, it's because this didn't get reconnected to this receptacle right here. So that has to get plugged back in because this, this cord is coming off this generator right here. So this is your generator and it's feeding energy or electricity into that cord. And that's why you plug it back into that receptacle there. And this is the same cord you're gonna plug in when you get to your campsite. This is where you're gonna run it down through this hole here so you can close the door. It's not come out through the door, runs down through there, plug it in. Again, if you don't have enough, there's another 25 feet. It just connects to each other and you're, you'll have a, a 50 foot uh, stretch of hose or of cord, I should say. So, the storage area, these are all adapters and an extension for a 30 amp extension. If you don't know what a 30 amp is, you don't really need to know, just make sure uh, the receptacle is, uh, and you can ask your campground what kind of amperage you have to have, but if you hook up to a standard outlet, you will not be able to run your air conditioning. That's the one thing you, you will not have. So it has to be a 30 amp or higher, 30 or 50 amp. This would be, uh, this would be adapting from a 50 amp to a 30 amp. So we have adaptation from, you can go from a straight household plug to your 30 amp or from a 50 amp to a 30 amp. And then we have an extension, a 30 amp extension. It's about 20, I think it's 25 feet. Yeah, 25 foot extension, just so you see that. 